Hi, my name is Don Garceno from WordPress Academy, and today I'll be introducing you to Pixlr.com. That's Pixlr.com, another uh, free web-based uh, photo editing software. Now, this will be the uh, second of the Swan Studios demo series. And to get started, let's open up a new browser. And from your ad, uh, browser's address bar, just type in the address for Pixlr's website. That's Pixlr.com. And from the um, home page, select on the uh, Pixlr editor. And then uh, we'll be uh, creating a new image canvas. So just uh, select under create a new image. And then let's uh, name our canvas as One Studios. And we won't be uh, using the presets uh, selection uh, for this demo. And let's uh, specify the width at 900 by 180. And then make the um, image canvas as transparent. And click on OK. Now uh, this will be our default uh, screen. So let's uh, pull up an image by going to the menu bar at the top over here. Click on File. Then Open Image. And then let's uh, select our one image. Click on OK or Open. Now it will take um, a couple of seconds to uh, load up the image. Now uh, we will be um, only using about half of the image here, so we will be uh, cropping the image. And select the crop tool from the tools window on your left. That's over here. And then just position your cro uh, cursor to make the selection. Okay, so you can also make adjustments by dragging the uh, blue boxes on the corners. And then to apply the selection, just click on um, any vacant uh, spot on the uh, window. And then you'll have your dialog box over here to apply the changes, so click on yes. Okay, next thing we're going to do is to resize the image so that it will fit our image canvas. So go back to the menu bar at the top and select on image. And select on image size. Now before you make any changes, uh, make sure that the constraint uh, proportions is checked. And the only uh, thing that we're going to change here is the um, height so that it will fit our image canvas at 180. Then click on OK. Now you'll notice that the um, image uh, became um, small in size. This is related to its original size. So to get a better view, uh, go to the navigator window on your right. And then you have that slider over there to increase the uh, zoom levels. So move it to your right to increase the uh, magnification. Okay, that should do it. Now let's uh, select our image by going to the um, edit menu at the top. And then cl click on select all. Once the image is selected, uh, we're going to copy this image so that we can be able to paste it to our image canvas. So click back on edit then click on copy. Once the image is uh, copied, uh, go back to your image canvas and then paste it. So we go back to edit and then click on paste. Okay. Once uh, the image is um, on our canvas, we can uh, now uh, close the uh, swan image and no need to save the changes. Just click on no. Okay. Now looking at your layers window on your right, you have layer zero. This refers to your background, so let's rename it. Just double click on it and then type on background. And then layer one refers to this one image. So same thing, double click on it and then type in the name, this one image. Just, just click anywhere outside the window to apply the changes. Okay, now we're going to uh, move our one image to the left. So we're going to use the move tool. Select the Move tool on the Tools window on your left over here. And then just drag the image all the way to the left. Okay, now to make some minor adjustments in its position, uh, you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard. Okay, now next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in this um, transparent pixels over here uh, with the same gradient as the um, 
background layer is one image. So before we do that, we need to select the uh, background layer. Go back to the layers window and click on background layer. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is select the uh, gradient fill, which is located in the tools window over here. This is a blue box. Uh, click on it. And then you'll have your uh, gradient options at the top, just right below the menu bar. Now to select the uh, color, click on the gradient uh, bar over here. Okay, so you'll have your um, selections over here. So let's just um, drag our image to the bottom so that it won't uh, obscure our view. Now uh, select back on the gradient tool. So you'll have your uh, primary color on the left and then your secondary color on your right. Okay, to uh, select or to match the image background to the background on your uh, swan image, click on the uh, color box over here. And then you have your uh, color selector window. Now if you're going to uh, move your cursor outside the color selector, it will automatically uh, turn into your uh, color picker tool, which can also be located over here. So no need to select it from there. So in order to match a background image um, to your swan image, just go click on an area over here. And then immediately the color of that uh, background will be applied to your color selector, which is over here. And then uh, click on OK. OK, so once uh, that is selected, all you have to do is just drag um, your mouse cursor from the left towards your right. And there you have your fill. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add up some text. So we're going to uh, select the text tool in the tools window or the type tool over here. And then let's uh, type in some text. Okay, so you have your text window over here. Your text goes here. So let's type in just one studios. You'll have um, options to change the font over here and the size over here. To change the size, just move the slider. Like that. So let's just leave it at 30. And then since we have a um, dark color background, let's set the background color to uh, white. Okay. And click on OK and click on OK now let's uh, draw a line below the Swan Studios okay. set the color to white as well click on OK so let's add up a few more text Okay, this time we're going to um, lower the uh, font size to uh, 20. Okay, and then set the uh, font style to italic. And then set the color to white. Click on OK. Now to make some uh, minor adjustments in its uh, position, we're going to select the move tool over here and then let's position our text. Okay, that should do it. And now we are ready to uh, save our image. Click on file to top, click on save. And then um, just leave the format to JPEG and then the quality to 80. You have a fairly um, minimum size of 21 kilobytes and then click on OK. Set the location where you want to save your image. Click on Save. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, this is Don from WordPress Academy. Have a nice day.